So now we will see NVIC. What is NVIC? Nested Vector Interrupt Controller. Shortly we call this the NVIC. Uh, in, uh, this is the, what is the purpose of this NVIC? So we are setting up the priority to interrupts. So you can learn from this uh, how to configure interrupts preemption priority and configure interrupts with sub priority and uh, please open the reference manual or data sheet of your microcontroller and then read more about this in week. So what is this preemption priority and what is the sub priority? Preemption priority, it's just like um, if you make some kind of analogy, let us say I uh, somebody applied for a job here as the research assistant or teaching assistant, let's say I received five CVs and I have to check uh, the CVs and I have to sort out like, okay, this CV because of this reason, okay, this is the top one and this is the top two, top three. So I set up the priority based on the quality of the CVs or qualification of the person. So among the five CVs, two CVs have the same quality or the person have the same education, same experience. So then I need to decide among these two CVs who I should hire. Of course, there will be an interview and so on, the final evaluation. So they both of them answered very well in the interview. So I need to decide who I, I have to give the job. So then I have to again have some kind of sub priority. Both are equal. Then again, I need to examine or ask some further question and to filter out like, okay, this person is a little bit better, something like that. So that is called sub priority. So first I am setting up the priority based on the uh, whatever the interrupts received. And then later I uh, set up the sub priority. We will see with the example now. So preemption priority. So higher preemption level interrupt can preempt the lower preemption level interrupts. Let us say I have an interrupt, interrupt zero. I have the interrupt one, I have the interrupt two. Uh, so this one, I have to set up the preemption priority level. So maybe I set up the highest priority to this one and then, uh, sorry, very high priority. And then this is the high priority. And this is the low level priority or just priority. So whenever these interrupts occurs, so it will come up with this preemption level. So I set up this VH to this one. So the CPU will immediately take this one and then it will process. And if I get the interrupt like this one, and then the CPU will take this one as the second. And, the, and so on. So we will see now. Uh, so zero, okay. In the microcontroller, zero is the highest preemption level. So it means if this I zero come up with the priority level zero, then this one has the highest priority. And then there are some other levels, the zero and one, two and so on. So the level will be whenever the number is increasing, the priority goes down. So zero is the highest priority. And if you come up with a priority level one, then this is the second priority. And if it this one comes up with a level two, then this is the second priority and so on. So the highest priority always goes to zero. This is the first one. This is the preemption priority and the sub priority. If there are two or more pending requests with the same preemption priority level, then sub priority level is used to determine which pending request must served first. Do you understand this one? So let us say like I have two interrupts, I1 and I2. And it has this uh, preemption priority level zero, zero. So it means both interrupts have the highest priority, very high priority. So the CPU, how can it choose I1 or I2? Then I need some kind of sub priority. So we can say this one has some kind of sub priority again, zero. And this is the sub priority, it has one. 
so in the sub priority level also zero has the highest priority so this one has the combination of zero and zero preemption is also is zero sub priority is also zero so this one has the highest priority then cpu will take this i1 first and then the cpu will take this i2 because this i2 has the combination of zero and one even though it has highest priority in the preemption level but in the sub priority level it has the second priority one so then i2 will be processed in the second let's see here this is an example uh, here you can see isr so you remember isr we have studied in the first or second lecture in the data registers so this is used for isr register is used for interrupt service routine interrupt service routine that is shortly we call this an isr so now we have main program cpu is executing this main program the gray one and we received two interrupts one is called isr1 another one is called isr2 so isr1 i received first it has the priority level is equal to 1 so i received this one then the cpu will immediately stop the main program and it will start to process this isr1 request so now the orange color is the interrupt one it's processing this interrupt one this is the cpu so when this cpu is processing this I, I, uh, isr1 that is the interrupt request one I received another interrupt immediately. Remember, interrupt and polling are different. So I received the interrupt, another interrupt, that is ISR2. This one has the preemption priority level zero. We know zero is the highest priority. So remember here, zero is the highest priority. So then what will happen? Then CPU will immediately stop executing this interrupt then it will take this interrupt and it will execute this interrupt. This is the green one, this is the ISR2 with the priority level zero. Then after completing the process of this interrupt, then it will return back to this, the first interrupt which it was already processed, started to process by CPU. Then it will complete this interrupt and then it will jump back it will return back to the main program. So you can easily uh, understand this, uh, this flowchart or diagram. So how the CPU is processing. So we have the main program, we get the interrupt uh, with the priority level one, it's processing. At this, uh, during the process, immediately the CPU receive another interrupt with the highest priority, then it will stop immediately and it will process this highest priority interrupt and then it will return to this another interrupt this was already started to process it will continue where it stopped and then it will finish and then it will go back to the main program this is the nvic priority preemption priority this is the priority level one so i have also explained this in the text you can read this and here you can see here we have the main program, CPU is executing this main program. And we, we are receiving several interrupts. So we have the orange, green, blue, all are interrupts. So orange interrupt, this is called ISR1, interrupt service routine. This one has preemption priority is zero. This is the highest priority. And ISR2, this is the interrupt signal two. This is the interrupt, uh, interrupt two. This one has the preemption priority one and sub priority one. And ISR three, this is the interrupt three. This has the preemption priority one and sub priority zero. So what will happen now? How the CPU have to process these interrupts? So CPU is already processing some, some kind of main program. So we receive this interrupt. No problem here because this is 
highest priority in the preemption level and the highest priority in the sub level zero zero so cpu will first finish this one perfect and then i receive two interrupts so <clears throat> isr2 and isr3 both are having <coughs> same priority level one so then the cpu will get confused because both are having the same preemption level then it will look at the next level that is the sub priority level so here the sub priority is zero that is the highest priority but for this one sub priority is one one this is the next level so the cpu will give priority or it will consider this isr3 the next one so the cpu will process this blue rec uh, blue interrupt so this is irq3 even though irq3 comes after this IR isr2 so isr3 comes after isr2 but it has the sub priority that is the highest priority so cpu will process this blue one after finish this one then it will take this isr2 interrupt and then it will process this operation and then it will jump back it will return to the main class that is the main program so this is how nbic priority works